in conversation with the Right Honourable Paul Martin. Good to see you again, Mr. Martin. Jamie, it's great to see you again. Well, it's been uh, about three years since we last sat down and have a conversation, and I'd, and I'd like to start with talking about the polio vaccination, uh, because your father, who was the Minister of Health and Wellness for Canada in the 1950s, was paramount to that, and now we're going through this worldwide pandemic caused by COVID-19. So let's start with, first of all, your dad's childhood in Pembroke and why that polio vaccination was so important uh, to him. When my father was about eight years old, this is in Pembroke, um, uh, on Isabella, he caught polio um, and was paralyzed. Uh, his entire left side was paralyzed. Um, his brother, uh, younger brother, used to have to pull him around on a wagon or in a sleigh. Um, and uh, he eventually recovered, uh, but he was uh, blind in his left eye all his life. Uh, and he had great weakness all the way down here. And so he had a very bad case of polio. Um, but um, what even added, added, yours truly, caught polio. Uh, in this case, it was a, par a uh, paralysis of the lungs. And uh, consequently, you could understand that when my father became the Minister of Health and Welfare, um, and that the polio... Uh, the, the, the massive attacks of polio, the epidemics every single year, uh, there was a, a polio epidemic. Um, my father took this very, very much to heart. Um, he worked with the uh, scientists in the, in the Department of Health and Welfare, which he was, the, he was the member. What happened was that the Connick Labs, which was a, a, a huge lab associated with the University of Toronto, uh, was a world-class research lab. And they had a connection um, with uh, Dr. Salk, who was the discoverer of the, poli the, the, the polio vaccination. And so what they did is they, they worked together with him. And so when my dad became the minister and he, he, they, he knew that they were working on polio, he naturally took a huge interest in the Connet Labs. Uh, made sure that they had everything that they wanted, make sure that he, they worked very closely. What happened then, as Dr. Salk was working on this vaccine, he lacked the virus. He did, could, did, Dr. Salk didn't have enough virus. And of course, when you're working and doing that kind of research, you're, you're going through all kinds of virus. And it was called the medium and everything else. It was the Conant Labs that provided the virus, most of the virus, provided the uh, the, the medium, and uh, eventually, uh, Dr. Salk discovered, got the vaccine, discovered the means to stop polio. He would not have done that if Connor Labs hadn't been working with him. So that the fact is they provided the medium, and then what happened, of course, it, uh, doc, uh, Dr. Salk dis discovered it, it was judged. Connor did the same time, at the same time had it, but it was the, it's Dr. Salk's uh, 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 discovery, and so they had this. Then what happened? It was they, the, the vaccine was ready to be uh, to be used, and so what happened was both Dr. Salk in the United States and Conant Labs in Canada essentially announced to their countries that they were ready with the vaccine, and they proceeded uh, to um, uh, to put to indulge with it, to to put the, the, the vaccine into place, except that after this had gone on for, let's say, just under a month, um, a couple of people in the United States passed away. And there was a lab, Cutter Labs, in the United States, um, and which, which had a bad batch. But the U.S. authorities were not convinced that it was a bad batch. They said it might be the vaccine itself. And uh, so what they did was they, they put a halt to all vaccines in the United States and um, expected Canada to do the same thing. The Prime Minister, Mr. Sandler, and my dad were very close. Mr. Sandler, I thought we should stop. My dad met with the authorities, the, the, the scientists, and they said, no, it's a bad batch in the States. It, the, the vaccine works. And so my dad convinced the Prime Minister to say, no, we're not gonna stop. 
And we continued with the vaccine and the Americans stopped for a, a number of weeks. And then they discovered that it really was only that one batch that was bad, it was all good. And so they reestablished uh, the, the implementation of the vaccines. It is generally regarded that if Canada had stopped, it would have taken the Americans two to three to four years to come back. But they didn't, since they saw that Canada continued and everything was fine, they, they demonstrated it was only one back, they went on. And of course, the, the rest is history. Uh, the polio vaccine took off and it was then exported around the world.